In the blue is Martin Kowski. In the white is Cicero Livio. This is a semi-finals match, so we are really getting into the thick of, thick of things now with the male divisions here getting into these final deciding matches. Who is going to be going for the first and second later this evening? Right now, I think this is the first. Yes, this is the first semifinals of the Rooster Weight division. And then later on, we will see Thiago Souza versus Reuter Lima Silva Jr. Yeah, the semifinal match, there is a. Uh, one of these men is guaranteed a chance and through into the final. The other will be a, uh, a guaranteed bronze medal. We will restart back to the feet for. Uh, Looks like we could potentially see an all-Gracie Baja final, too, if we have Martin Kowski, the winner of this fight, and then Reuter Lima Silva Jr., winner of the other semifinal. Potentially, we'd have a Gracie Baja final, but we will see. We're very early on in this fight, just about, I believe, 45 seconds in or so, one minute in. Still 0-0 here, no score on the board. Yeah. Both men yeah, fighting for inside position with the legs and chatting a little bit here, too. <laughs> <laughs> the double guard pull is very common position, isn't it, in the lighter weight categories. Yes. Uh, so this is now the second stand-up, so that's going to be the second penalty against, uh, against both yeah, athletes. And it's rare, but we do see you know, these double DQs occasionally. Of course, we hope very it never comes to that. Yeah. But if it, uh, you know, they have two penalties each now, they will have the opportunity to have a maximum of three, and anything over that will be a disqualification. We have seen double TQ in this sense, or in the case of these double guard pulls before. So one person will have to come on top, accept the advantage, and accept the top position, or they will be stood back up again into the opportunity to start standing and hopefully not double guard pull for a fourth time. <laughs> but a big focus here on the inside position of the feet. I can see like the Trying leg tumbling. Trying to set up the lasso with the lapel from uh, from the double guard pole. But I, I think we could see... Uh, They're getting pretty short yeah, on time here again. Yes. Getting very close to that 20 second limit. The referees could, could stand them up once more. Uh, nope, here we see coming up on that the That is very interesting. Right into some strong passing pressure. These, uh, these rooster weights, they are so flexible. You'll see them use their guards in ways that n normal people can't do. It. It's pretty wild. Yeah, yeah it's pretty wild. And, uh, you know, it's the greatest example of that, of course, Mikey Musumeci fighting a rooster or a life feather, depending on the competition, just his incredible guard and flexibility. Not a stranger to this style of playing. So exactly what we're seeing here now. So much flexibility. I mean, these guys get smashed with their feet, pinned over their head, and just look as calm as ever. <laughs> so it's interesting now we have this, you know, two point lead due to the third penalty giving two points instead of an advantage for coming up on the double guard pool. So a little bit of a different scenario than if they had double guard pulled and come up on the first one, then it's just an advantage. So that's why we'll see this two point lead here for Livio with about seven minutes and 20 seconds left to go in this match. The lapel game really is ubiquitous now, isn't it? We see everybody doing it. It's so common. I, I feel like it's one of those things that even just sort of one or two years ago, it was considered kind of exotic, totally. you know? Only a handful of, uh, of grapplers were using it. And, uh, toe and now hold attempt coming in here strong. It is a good toe hold but attempt. But it, it is tight. Good grip on that. And there wow. it is, there's the finish. That was tight very, very quickly, but he did have a, a good squeeze on that leg. So when you have that and then you're able to rotate the foot, it creates such a big amount of pressure on the knee. You don't have to push the foot to the butt and make you know a big spinning angle. You just have to isolate the knee so that it torques on the knee and the ankle at the same time. That's exactly what we saw. It was Cicero Olivio punches than his I thought. ticket through into the finals with a toe hold submission win. He will go through and for a chance to fight for the gold medal later on here this afternoon. A little over three minutes into the match, he gets the leg lock submission. A big win for the Aries black belt. And on mat two, we have the other semifinal going, so we'll see who is going to match up with Livio in the finals later today. We have Reuter Lemur from Gracie Baja. Dago Gamma from yes. uh, Alliance. Yeah, lots of action coming here, but we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back after this.